Hello, and thank you for joining us for the Parasoft Cloud and Web Application Testing Demo. My name is Adam Atanasio. I'm a product manager here at Parasoft, and today I'm going to be showing you a brief overview of our functional products. Let's get started with common practices. Organizations have requirements for any application they want to test. The application under test, or AUT, most commonly exposes an API that allows the UI to communicate with the application, any service calls, or any additional APIs that communicate with the backend resources, including things like databases, additional applications, other REST APIs, or microservices. But to keep it simple, we'll stick with just the database service calls for now. A key to automating testing is to simulate, mock, or virtualize any or all pieces of this equation. You can virtualize the database or backend service from the perspective of the application under test, the application itself from the UI tester's point of view. You can even virtualize the tester or multiple testers and evaluate the behavior from the application perspective. Traditionally, a manual tester would sit at the application's user interface and navigate through the clicks and steps necessary to reproduce the business use case. We now know, however, shifting the focus from the UI to the API during testing saves significant time and money. Parasoft helps achieve this with the use of SOATest. SOATest gives our customers the ability to shift testing and the functionality of its applications from the UI to the API. This saves significant time and money during the testing cycle. Here's just one example. A recent prospect looking to implement Parasoft in their testing environment, they had one of their automated UI tests take up to 20 minutes to run in a browser. With SOA test, we showed them how to reduce this time to 48 seconds when they shifted the UI from the UI to the API for testing. That's a 25x improvement. We achieved those results by combining three pieces of Parasoft's continuous quality portfolio. Selenic, Smart API, and SOA test. In many cases, the application under test is the UI itself. For this, we offer Parasoft Selenic. Selenic is the key to automating browser UI testing. By replacing the ma manual tester sitting at the UI dredging through the clicks, we can move you one step closer to your continuous testing. And with the use of Parasoft Recorder, you can record those clicks and let Selenic convert them to UI tests. Run through the process once, and the recorder captures your actions. From there, Selenic trans transforms those clicks into automated UI tests. You can also capture the API tra traffic generated by those clicks and convert them to API tests. So here I'm ordering a tent through our online demo, and we're just going to get that submitted for approval. Once that is done, we just stop the recording, give the, give the test a name, we can also add any work item IDs and associate it with things like JIRA, TeamForge, or Azure DevOps. And if you elected to collect, capture your API traffic after saving your UI actions, you will be promoted uh, for how you wish to name the API traffic while recording the UI traffic, which will then communicate via Smart API's artificial intelligence and gener generate API tests from those same actions directly into SOA test. Now that we have the UI and API recordings, you can easily provide three types of testing assets. Browser UI tests using Selenic, AI-driven API tests via Smart API to SOA test, and your virtual assets that responded like whatever you wanted to record from the original. First off, let's start with Selenic. Creating browser tests from recordings isn't Selenic's only superpower. By their nature, UI tests tend to be fragile. If a dev makes a potentially breaking change to the UI, it can cause costly delays and take significant time and resources to find and fix the issue. Selenic helps to avoid such del costly delays by enabling those once fragile tests to heal themselves. Selenic also provides you with the detailed reports, letting you know what Selenic has healed and what steps the AI took to resolve the issue. Sure, other vendors offer self-healing, but in a side-by-side -side comparison by a third-party company evaluating Parasoft against a bunch of other vendors, Selenic's self-healing emerged victorious over them all. Finding and healing issues earlier rather than later saves both time and money. And another outdated testing practice was to fill a room full of manual testers or click dredgers, this including setting up all of the required infrastructure and HR resources needed, all slowly, painfully, 
plotting through the paces to recreate the business use case. We can update this antiquated practice by using virtual users. You create a single instance, and then you can virtualize as many users that that one box can handle. Parasoft makes this easy with load tests. Load test is included in installs with SOA tests and allows you to graphically set generated load for all connected load test servers, all at once or individually, and you can specify how you want to allocate the load to be generated and which types of virtual users you wish to perform the tasks. With load test, you can select which metrics you want to track in real time and you can create custom graphs for tracking these metrics, all at runtime, all of these metrics that are important to you. And if you need more virtual users and processing power, you can simply spin up as many load test servers as you need in the cloud and increase the synthetic load testing balance. And what's beautiful is those same API tests that you used creating Parasoft Recorder early are completely compatible with SOA test and load test. So I guess in a way that makes four assets from one recording. Now remember those virtual assets I mentioned earlier? where I reduced the backend to just the database. Now let's bring back our cloud service for this example. And because we're talking about the backend system now, let's hide the user front end for the time being, and then we'll hide the database too. But don't worry, we'll bring it back. This is a simple enough diagram, right? And now let me introduce Parasoft Virtualize. Virtualize gives you the ability to create a mock asset that your application needs, and that asset is yours and directly available to you. We find that within our existing testing environments, customers often face what we call the A, B, C, D of environment stabilizers. A is for availability. The asset your application needs may not be available or have limited availability. It's like taking a number and waiting for a time slot to test. B is for behavior. The asset you need may not be in the right state you need for the test you're trying to run. When you virtualize the asset, it's in, it is simulated in the exact state it was when you first initially recorded the test. And C is for cost. This one might be self-explanatory. Assets can be costly, costly to stand up or run, and cost impacts, well, everything, usually. D, D is for data. Many companies come to us explaining that they cannot get the right data or they need to simulate accurate test data that protects PII. Many complex test environments have lots of moving pieces and experience problems that manifest as data issues. With Virtualize, the virtual asset you create is yours, responding to your requests in exactly the same way you recorded it. It's available when you need it, in the state you need it, and responds with the data you need. You don't even have to use recordings, say in a situation where there is no ability to record, in these cases, you can build virtual assets from scratch using a WSDL or open API spec to create the framework. From there, you can build it and it will, it will respond exactly the way that you want. Now, once you've established these virtual assets, how can you manage your test environment and tell Virtualize which assets you want to use, the live asset or the virtual one? The answer, institute a proxy between your backend and your application under test. This proxy acts as a traffic cop. It directs the traffic that was originally required for the live asset to be available to now direct the request to the virtual assets instead. Now, wouldn't it be great to have a user-friendly GUI to manage the test environment and direct those proxy traffic cops, whether to use the virtual or live assets? Well, Parasoft has this covered too, with Parasoft's Continuous Testing Platform, or CTP. Does this look familiar? CTP is our browser-based application for managing your test environments, your virtualized assets, API test execution, and test data. First is the Environment Manager, which provides a user-friendly web UI for switching between live and virtual assets. You can build these diagrams manually or click the Click Action button here and easily auto-generate basic diagram with a blank proxy already established for you. From the master editor, you are then provided with an easy drag and drop interface to configure your diagram to match your company's topology, adding additional servers or artifacts, elements such as databases, web services, 
or any of the items you see here to customize control of your assets to fit your business need. You can even start a recording and auto-generate virtual assets from the Environment Manager. Next, let's look at API test execution, which interfaces directly with any Soavert servers you have running. It gives you access to all the test suites and collections that are in SOA test, all via the web, without having to go into your IDE to launch your tests. From here, you can either execute my tests or create jobs where I run multiple tests and send those results directly downstream to dashboards in DTP. I'll touch on DTP a little bit later. Now let's look at Service Virtualization Manager, where you can manage the virtual assets that the traffic cop proxies can redirect traffic to. You can also add and see the status of your SOAVERT servers that are running. And based on which servers you have running, you can view and perform actions on the associated virtual assets. You can graphically flip between live and virtual assets in the Environment Manager, or use the fields to key in the settings that you want. And finally, we have Test Data Manager, which references your data source servers. And in this case, we have run running on local coast, on local host. All the data sources you have available, you could view these data sources in a hierarchical text-based format, or you have the option of viewing the data set graphically. So you can just click on the model, and you're presented with what looks like a scatter diagram. But if we zoom in, we can see the blue dots are actually each of the nodes in the data source. The orange rectangles are the fields associated with that node, and you have the ability to graphically step through the model and locate the specific data node you are interested in. You can even use a keyword. We'll say category, and it will narrow it down just on the node that you're looking for. You can zoom in, zoom out, even drag and pan the model to get to the node and fields you are targeting. And this is where things start to get really good. From here, you have the option of either basking the data, say to obfuscate email address, names, or social security numbers, or you can generate an entirely new data set from scratch. And if you're not familiar with every field in the data model, or you just don't want to have to specify a format for each field in the data source, just let the AI do the heavy lifting for you and infer constraints, telling it to analyze the data you have and detect the patterns in the data that it, that it can use to generate the test data values according to those patterns. Extremely valuable tool when you're considering how personally identifiable information uh, has to be protected. This is just a few of the highlights of CTP. And there's another puzzle piece to the continuous quality platform that I mentioned earlier. All of these applications, Selenic, SOATest, CTP, and Virtualize, are fully and natively integrated to flow their data into Parasoft's Development Testing Platform, or DTP. DTP is your situation room and mission control for analyzing and understanding where you are at the end of each development cycle and to then determine where you need to go next and what you need to do in the upcoming sprints. DTP for provides the dashboard metrics you need to know, like which parts of your application have been tested and what remains outstanding according to the code requirements in your work management system. And there's one more thing I want to show you. There's only so much work you can do in each time-constrained sprint. Every time you iterate, you increase your tests. After running multiple iterations and adding more and more tests, rerunning the entire test load for each build can tend to slow down productivity. This is where Parasoft's AI Power Test Impact Analysis comes in. TIA analyzes your build, and the AI determines which code changed and which tests are associated with those modifications, and then runs only those tests. This speeds up productivity substantially instead of slowing down. As iterations continue and test volumes increase, your maximum, you maximize delivering quality at speed. Test Impact Analysis is a game changer for many of our clients. And this concludes today's demo. This has been Parasoft's Continuous Quality Platform, a fully integrated test environment management solution. Selenic, SOATest, Virtualize, CTP, and DTP combined together with our code analysis and unit testing language-based products comprise Parasoft's Continuous Quality Platform. 
Did you know that you could have a voice in guiding the future of Parasoft products? Check out our forums at forums.parasoft.com and learn more about submitting your product ideas or upvote others' ideas. And if you're not yet a member, create your account to get started. It's a great place to interact with other Parasoft customers, ask questions, and get answers. Contact Parasoft to learn more about how you can optimize your software test automation to produce high-quality applications. And that's about all I had planned to show you for today, so let's go to the Q&A box and see if we have any questions. <laughs>